One question constantly asked by people is how much is it to insure your Tesla and is it more than a gas powered car? Also, my Tesla is now out of warranty and the roof cracked. So I'm going to show you what this costs and if it's covered. This video will also be helpful as a reference point when shopping for good insurance at a great price. I sound like Flo, Jesus Christ. So I'm going to show you exactly what I'm paying on my Porsche Macan S. Also, if you're an OG subscriber to the channel, you may remember me doing a video when I had Geico insurance and why Geico dropped me as a customer. So I will get into that a little bit later and explain why they will not insure me. So here's the exact coverage that I have on my Tesla Model Y and Porsche Macan S from State Farm. Bodily injury, 100,000, 300,000. Property damage, 100,000. Medical payments, one sheet. $500 deductible comprehensive, $500 deductible collision, emergency road service, car rental and travel or expense, 80% per day coverage, $1,000 max. Uninsured motor vehicle, 100,000, 300,000. Underinsured vehicle, bodily injury, 100,000, 300,000. So that all adds up to $765.80 for six months of coverage for my Tesla Model Y. Now I have the same exact coverage on my Porsche Macan and that breaks down to $102.42 per month. On my Tesla Model Y that breaks down to $127.63 per month, which gives us a total monthly cost of $230.05 to cover both my Porsche Macan and Tesla Model Y. Now make sure to use this video as a reference point and especially the graph that I just showed when shopping for insurance because your insurance over time will go up in slight increments and insurance companies know it's a pain to change your insurance. I know when I had Geico insurance, it started really low and then got up to a really high point. So far, State Farm has been pretty good. It's staying pretty level. It's fluctuated maybe 30 or $40, but it's dropped and then also gone up. So overall, it's been pretty good. So is it more expensive than a gas car? In the case of my Porsche Macan S, the answer is yes. And the other reason that a lot of new Tesla owners think that their insurance is so expensive is because they've never owned a fast or expensive car, and the Tesla is both of those, so it's a big change from your Corolla S. My previous cars were a BMW M2, Honda Civic Si, and a Focus ST, and while they are not that fast, they are higher risk performance versions of the standard car. So $127.63 for my Model Y is on par with what those cost to insure. Also, I have no tickets or accidents on my insurance, but broken windshields do act as a claim if you start to stack up several of them. Also, since I just crossed 50,000 miles in my Model Y, I no longer have a warranty and wouldn't you know it, my roof cracked. <laughs> Life is so hard. So since Arizona is one of six states that has zero deductible glass coverage, is the roof also covered? The answer right after this commercial. If you're looking for the best floor mats for your Tesla Model Y, Tesla Model 3, or any Tesla, or any car for that matter, you need to look at 3D mats. Their Max Spider technology lets the floor mat stick to the carpet and it will absolutely not move, but also it won't fray the carpet when lifting it up. Using code jeebs 3 d 10 you will get a discount on their website and I'll have it linked in the description. This ad is over. Also, shout out to the Model Y owner that stopped by to say hi. Thanks for saying hi and thanks for watching the channel. Sorry, I have to break character real quick. How about the glow coming in right here from the sun? Beautiful. So yes, the glass roof is covered under my zero deductible policy. Otherwise, it would cost $1,650 approximately to replace the entire glass roof on the Model Y, and that doesn't include labor. The warranty for any of the glass in your car would only be used if it's a factory defect. For example, you'll notice that I have roof racks now installed in the car. Now, could I have put these in on my own? Yeah, sure. But I had the Tesla tech come to my house and do it. It was $61. And the reason I had him do it, because I've heard a lot of people, when they put these on, they actually crack their glass roof. So I just took the risk out of it and let Tesla do it. And they did a nice job. Also, the guy that came to my house was a subscriber of the channel because he drove a Focus ST. Shout out ST Nation, I'll never forget you. Now, earlier I mentioned that Geico will not insure me. And the reason for that is prior to me doing YouTube full time, I was a medical device sales rep. So when I was getting insurance from them, they asked me what I did for a living. I said I was a medical device sales rep. And then that led to several other questions. Now, at times as a medical device sales rep, I was carrying hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of equipment in my car, sometimes upwards 
upwards of $500,000 worth of plates, screws, implants, custom models, all kinds of things that you wouldn't even believe what they cost. Now, because of this and because of all the driving I did, Geico raised my rates up to $900 per month. And obviously I was not going to pay that. So I called my manager and other people at the company, there were hundreds of reps, other people at the company had used Geico. I just essentially said too much. And if I were to get in an accident and all those plates and screws were shot across the interstate along with my corpse, that would all be covered by the insurance that the company has for those plates and screws and the loss that that would be. That would not be on Geico or whatever insurance company to cover. So after a couple days and after them telling me my insurance rates were gonna go up, they basically dropped me with very little notice and I had to go to another insurance company, which was State Farm, which is who I've used since I was 16. The other thing that's been very helpful with State Farm is they have a local rep. So I have a local rep and agent who I've now come to know and they've been very helpful anytime I've had a windshield claim on my Focus ST, I broke six windshields. On this, I broke one windshield. Really with breaking windshields, I feel like it's at the angle it sits. Some companies use better glass than others. There's all kinds of factors. People in the comments like to say, oh, you tailgate people. I've had rock chips happen when there's a car 150 yards in front of me. It's just really bad luck. Now, as I said earlier, Geico will not insure me. And every six months, I like to shop my insurance to check that I'm getting the best available pricing. Now, if it's a couple dollar difference, I'm not gonna make the change. But I called Geico back to get a quote and Geico still has me flagged in their system as a medical device sales rep and I need to get some type of letter sent to Geico from my previous employer to prove that I do not work for them anymore. And that's the only way that I could get reinsured by Geico. But after hearing about Geico's terrible customer service, I'm really not that mad that I can't be insured by them anymore. And also, I don't want any of my money going to pay for the CGI for that bastard lizard. Now, if you're waiting to take delivery of your Model Y or any Tesla for that matter, you're gonna wanna watch this video right here where I show you what maintenance you need to do after 50,000 miles, what it will cost, and the part of that that you can do on your own to save time and money. So click this video right here. If it's not that video, it's because I haven't made it yet. Click the goddamn video. How's that for a song?